first app is the SpottyQ app. The SpottyQ app is a simple equalizer app that allows you to change the equalizer based on your taste, allows you to boost the bass according to your taste or choose a custom made preset. Moreover, it can also connect to your Spotify feed and change the equalizer based on each song. So it is a pretty cool equalizer app that actually works and is a total no-nonsense app. It can be used by any basic user and needs no guidance so as to change what in the equalizer or enable what features and what not features to be enabled. So it is pretty cool and very easy to use. The second app is the Walnut app. The Walnut app is a very simple digital art wallpaper app which has no ads whatsoever. So you can use this to make your cool and new age home screen right away. It is free to use, free to download. All the wallpapers can be downloaded for free and can also be applied for free without any reason of advertising or video watching to actually download the app. So it's a pretty cool app, do give it a look. As you can see, I'm using the same wallpaper on my home screen setup too. The next app is the InstaClean app. The InstaClean app is a very simple app yet serves a lot of purposes. One, it actually allows you to bulk delete all the useless emails in your inbox. This bothers me a lot because these emails pile up and use my inbox storage. Moreover, clutter the inbox making it more difficult for me to find the useful emails that I really need to get to. More than that, if you actually delete a lot of emails, every time you delete these emails, you get a certain amount of points. These points can be used to plant a tree somewhere. As you can see, it has a help the environment initiative where every thousand coins that you earn will be used to plant a tree. So do give this a visit guys, clean up your inbox and save the environment. Next app is the theme app. With the foregoing of Chinese transfer apps, we need a new entrant and this is a new entrant. This allows you to transfer files from your phone to PC using your Wi-Fi network. This is a closed circuit network. So basically what happens even if your laptop does not have internet connected and you connected to the same network using the phone, it will allow you to transfer any file without any limitations. You can transfer files of 10 GB, 5 GB, 6 GB without any limitations and it will not ask you to buy the premium version for it. So yes, this is a very very nice app. Next is the new pipe app. The new pipe app is an off play store app, but it allows you to watch any YouTube video at the full resolution and even download it at the few resolution. Why is this important? Because in India, the video resolution has been limited to 480p. This causes a lot of people problems because they like watching content in HD. You can use this app to download the content or even stream it in its full resolution. So you'll watch it the way it's meant to be watched. The next app is an Indian government app that I really, really urge people to use. This is a pretty cool app and it allows you to store documents much more securely as compared to Cam Scanner or G Drive. All you have to do is download the app named DigiLocker, enter your Aadhaar information and you can get all the documents from various ministries that there are in India and these documents can actually be shown as identity proof. For example, the driving license that you obtain from here on DigiLocker can be shown to the traffic police and you do not need to carry a hard copy of the same when showing it to the police. So it makes it much more easier for you to carry documents on your phone and this way you have less risk of losing these documents in case of any issues. Next is the Adobe Scan app. The Adobe Scan app is a contender to the Cam Scanner app. As you can see, it is a very simple thing. All you have to do is log into the app. Once you have logged into the app, you can give it all the authority, etc, etc. And once that is done, I don't know why Adobe has so many contracts, but whatever. So yeah, this app basically allows you to scan the apps, right? It is exactly like Scam Scanner. It actually has more features for free compared to Scam Scanner. So you can use it very well for yourself. Don't use Scam Scanner. It is a privacy risk, all right? Use Adobe Scan instead. It's cheap. Adobe servers are also better and works really well. The next app is an interesting app. It's the AccuBattery app. Why am I suggesting a battery starts app? 
This is not just a battery stats app, but it actually helps you maintain the health of your battery. So I use a 65 watt charger, 55 watt charger, my bad. So that charger charges the phone really fast, but sometimes I overcharge. Every time your battery is charged, it actually depletes the quality of the battery. So if you keep the phone overcharging on a 55 watt charger, just imagine what it can do to your battery. This allows you to charge to an amount that is good for your usage while also maintaining good amount of health of your battery. For me, it is at 80%. So every time the phone goes to 80%, AccuBattery makes a vibration and sound to tell me that the charging is completed to a healthy level and any more would cause the battery to deteriorate a little. Obviously, the deterioration won't be too much, but this allows me to keep make sure that my battery remains in good health for a longer time.